Hi, I'm Emma. I'm a lay pioneer minister at St Nicholas Early. Philip and Hannah Hobday at St Peter's Early, just up the road, asked if I'd be willing to make a short video about a place I pray as part of thy kingdom come. Always up for a challenge, I agreed to share about the way I pray in nature. There are to two places I go when I need time to pray, when I need to chat with God to ask for guidance or give him my troubles. One is the sea. There's something about the wide sky and the expanse of blue which always makes me feel closer to God. When the sea is calm, it's like a balm to my soul. When it's windy and roaring, I find it invigorating and uplifting. The sea is a feast for the senses and it's the place where I find it easiest to just be still and quiet with God. The second place I go is the local Maiden Early Nature Reserve. You'll know it if you live locally. I love to find the silence amidst our busy community, often at this time of the year interrupted by ducklings. I enjoy the light on the lake, the sound of the leaves rustling in the trees. I breathe deeply in the changing smells from flowers in the spring to that smell of fallen leaves on the ground. It's a place of peace and inspiration, a place to connect with God in the majesty of all he has created. I would love to have been able to turn the camera and show you one of these special places where I pray. But right now I'm shielding at home with my family. And so I had to find places much close, closer to home to pray. And for me, as long as it's not raining, this has been my place, our garden. It's not a big garden, it's not particularly beautiful, and it's definitely not well tended, but it's our own part of God's natural cathedral, and it's been a blessing to me over the last 10 weeks especially. Almost every day I have been able to come outside and listen to the blackbirds that sing dawn to dusk. You might be able to hear them right now. There we go. I've marvelled at the blossom in the spring and the abundant growth of summer. See those trees behind me full of leaf. It helps me remember that God is still very much at work in the world. As the wind has blown, I've been reminded of the Holy Spirit moving through the world. And when words have failed me in the difficult times over the last few weeks, I've come into the garden and found God waiting for me, waiting for me to chat with him. I wonder where you find God, where you love to chat to him.